Today we'll look at experimental probability or what actually happens. Previously I spoke with you about theoretical probability and that was the probability of what should happen in theory. However, as we know about real life, there's usually a different plan. Experimental probability, that's a probability what happens when the experiment is done. So what actually happens in real life? Experimental probability is found by taking the number of times a certain outcome happens and putting it over the number of times you do the experiment. For example, let's say you're flipping a coin, this beautiful coffee coin. Theoretically, if you flip a coin, you've got two outcomes, two possibilities. If you're trying to get one of them, you would have a one in two chance. But let's say you flip the coin 10 times. What you might get is seven tails and three heads. Experimental probability says the number of times an outcome happens over the number of times experiment is done. So let's see, you're going for tails, seven tails, seven tails plus three heads. That means the experimental probability is actually seven over 10. In comparison, again, the theoretical probability, what we should have gotten was one out of two experimental what we did was seven out of 10 times. To compare them, you have to remember your equivalent fractions and or your common multiples. So you could say, we could make the denominator of the two become a 10 by going times five. If we go times five on the bottom, well, a wise man once said, Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side to make it equal. So 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. That means the probability we'd expect would be 5 over 10. The probability that we actually got experimentally was 7 over 10. So 5 over 10 is a lower probability than 7 over 10. Because it only happened 5 out of 10 times, or projected to, in the experiment, it happens seven out of 10 times. Another example, if we said which probability is higher and we had 15 over 24 and we had six over eight, well, I kind of gave it away, but you could go times three to make that denominator be like a 24 times three. So you would have 18 over 24 and 15 over 24 being the original number. In this case, this probability is higher because the denominator is the same, the numerator is bigger here. That is a higher probability. When you've got the bigger number and the denominator is the same, the probability is higher. Thank you.